Hello, everybody. This is Cool Gamer 122. Or Jared. I can go by either way. <laughs> this. I'm sorry, I have no real editing skills. So, this is gonna be very. very crappy. I'm sorry. I would not blame you if you do not want to watch this. But if you do, please stay. I have no subscribers. Well, I actually do now. <laughs> anyway. We appear to be watching a little boy. No one knows why. There is a little boy who does not have his fairy. <laughs> who shivers in the night. <laughs> anyway. As I kind of didn't show the title screen. We are currently let's play in The Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time. Which in my opinion was when I actually... It wasn't the first Nintendo 64 game I ever played. But pretty close along the line. And I know the quality is crappy, I'm going to try to edit it, maybe with the YouTube settings. But I have no... This is really the best I can get. In fact, I might do a small video of showing you how I'm recording this. People might laugh of how I'm recording this. <laughs> Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Hello. Oh, Navi the fairy. Listen to my words. The words of the great Deco tree. Thus, thus. Okay, I'm not even. I probably won't read all this. I'll leave it so people can read it. But people do not want to hear me do horrible voice acting already. That's why I made a blooper already. I was actually. That was actually my attempt to start the episode. Uh, but basically, what's going on is there's this forest full of children. The ice cream man has not found his way through the lost woods, so they're all safe. It's from there. It's from here in the forest. They hide from the man in the white truck. Anyway, apparently one of these children was one of his escaped refugees, and in the process was tainted, and no longer was he able to have a natural fairy. So the god of the forest gave him a fairy. Who's trying to find her way through the forest? She just hopes that the ice cream man doesn't find her. Lord, if they do. Hello. Shut up! I'm sorry. I know. Oh my god! Jeez! Sorry. Okay, seriously. I am bad at commentary. I am sorry. I just. I'm, I'm still excited because, like, an hour ago, I figured out I can even do this. And 15 minutes ago, I'm pulling out all my Nintendo stuff, and I cannot find this game. I was panicking. I was literally having many heart attacks. You, I wish someone, I wish I was recording so you could hear the audio, just me freaking out. If anyone, I, I, sorry. As I, I'm trying to, I'm not used to this, um, as people can see, I'm just not starting the game, um, you cannot tell, but I've actually played this game roughly 13 times to the final boss. It would've been 14, but I actually locked myself in the Temple of Water, which I, I'm gonna say that ahead, ahead of time, I'm actually gonna look up, uh, Quick, let's let's play video just so I remember how to do this. Just to the bottom of the because it's not that hard if you know what you're doing. I just screw myself over because I never even played the game before. <gasps> oh no, it's Jared's long lost girlfriend. Yeah. Uh... Quick, do some do some stupid impressor. I'm not impressed. Wow, a fairy! Finally! A fairy came to you, Jared! I never thought you would recover from that psychological event with the ice cream man. In case anyone's asking, no, I'm not saying ice- I'm just making that joke of ice cream men are shot blasters. I'm- I will not say they are, I'm just trying to use overused jokes. I, for one, appreciate most ice cream men to deal with snotty-nosed kids. Except for, sorry, but I buy my ice cream and save money on it. 
Yeah, three, four gallon, four dollars to get the most expensive ice cream you have. For five dollars, I can get a gallon of ice cream and a bottle of root beer. Walking around at the speed of light. This is going slow. When do I get my horse? Never. What? I don't get my horse. No, basically, and what I'm doing now is, if most of you played the game before, you know what I'm doing. If those who haven't, I'm trying to grind on rubies real quick because there's a store in here that needs to. You have, you have to buy a sword and you have to. You don't buy the sword. Jeez. You fought. You have to find the sword. Ooh, the three rubies. That's a, yeah. You you have to find a sword inside the village, which is like a little second grotto. Then you have to pay forty rubies just so you can get a wooden shield. I can't just chop off a tree and take the bark. No, I have to actually buy the shield. Rip off. Anyway, ooh, a mysterious hole. Okay. Hole of Z. Let's go for the small hole. Who's Z, I wonder? Oh, I saw something blue before my eyes and I kind of freaked out. Oh, it's there again. Uh, don't, just stay calm. It can't hurt you. It can't hurt you. That can hurt you. Who would have thought a giant rock could hurt you? Running through the speed of sound, chasing after. Hey, where'd that boulder go? Where'd the boulder go? Ouch! Da da da! da. Oh, I failed. Da da da! Da da da! da, da. You got the Kokiri sword! That's gonna get old really quickly, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we got the Kokiri sword. So basically, we're now the most superior person in the village because we actually have a weapon. Where the leader of this village just has a big ego for a weapon. And you know what I do with big ego? So first, I run around in squares. Because squares are fun to run around in. It's not circles. Second, I can slice plants up. So I'm basically now the weed whacker of this entire village. I'm getting ripped off. Usually this job pays. You know what? You didn't pay me today, so... You died. You died. You didn't pay me. I'm mad. Crawling through the hole, the hole, the hole of the village. Then no boy ever enters and comes back out again. Why? Because it's fun running in squares, running in squares all day long. You see, now I'm getting paid to cut the weeds. You know, I'm really. Oh no! Boss, I didn't mean to fire! Uh. You saw nothing! You saw nothing! You saw nothing! Oh man, I'm gonna die. Wants to go curious, find out I murdered their god. Wait, that's not him. Oh, all these rocks are back, but I'm not getting the coins. But I don't want to talk to you. But I have to. So. Basically, early on in the game, this is all tutorial crap, and I actually might cut this short and like stop it right before the Great Deco Tree. <sighs> because after all, once you go inside the Great Deco Tree, you never come out. Only because it's actually been—I mean, once you get rid of all the once you get rid of all the cobwebs and. All the scary spiders is actually a pretty nice place to live. I mean, you have all the nutrients you need to survive. Sure, you you miss out on meat, but you'll find a way to survive. Oh, I forgot, I forgot the most important thing to get money. Link, you're about to graduate from walking on a bridge school. Do you accept your diploma? I do. 
Well, too bad. You only got five rubies. No, I didn't want to talk to you. Ah! Girl alerts! Girl alerts! She's gonna kill us all. My apologies now, because I am... I've already mentioned before, I'm not that good at commentary. Um, yes, um, hello, short, elderly man. 40 rubies! Uh, you know, I was gonna go behind the and steal it. Oh, never mind, I have no money. Well, good news, you don't get to get stabbed by my sword. You got the shield, deco shield, I mean. You use the arm button to craft and defend. I would like to buy something else, but I'm broke! <laughs> I wasted your time. Alright, so basically, in this early on in the game, there's nothing here. Nothing on the map, except for the tiny little village. Nothing. We are poor, as children should be. Not all children, it's the children with smart mouths. Anyway, this guy right here, you know, he, he'd be the big boss. Yo, he, he be the boss of the village. He won't let anyone through. Well, if you want to see the caretaker tree, my my master, you want to see him? You should at least equip the sword and the shield. Really? Oh, you have a deck of shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief. Well, you know, I stop a web bestow with uh, I, the great! And powerful me do. Shut up. We'll never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how'd you get this how'd you give me the favor of the best girl in this village and the great deck of tree? Our god, huh? Well it's easy. I ain't a whiny little Okay, um I'm probably not gonna do too many swear words. I mean I can, I just I don't know who who all I Oh! oh plants! What? I cut a plant and I got a stick! What kind of man is this? But this stick would be fun to whack. I wonder. Will I get more? Hiya! Hiya! No, it's fun. I kill some plants. Fairy, who are you yelling to? It's just a tree. A tree with an awesome mustache, I may add. Oh, I can talk? But how can the tree talk? Sure, he has eyebrows and a mustache, but he has no mouth. He's got even a nose and a nice little hairdo. <laughs> but yes, yeah, about um, profanity. I'll try to stay in for a minute. If I get enough people who comment and saying they just say go ahead of it, and if you're still watching this, I'll give you some spirit credit. Thank you. <laughs> but if you're still watching this, um, yeah, just comment. I'll try not to profanity, profanity, but there will be times when I will use it, especially when I have to rage quit. You're gonna see that. You might see that a lot. Probably not in a Zelda game, but if I was playing Mario 64 and The Great Deku Tree wants me to go inside him. Well, just walk. Start to speed up. Go faster. Run! 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 Oh, screw him. Run! We're gonna go into this tree, and we're gonna kill the evil that penetrated inside it. Living deep in the heart of the Tree of Deku. You don't scare me, Tree of Deku Great. And anyway, I actually might just, like, stop it right here, so. I'll probably, I'm gonna record ahead of time, but I'm just gonna stop it for now. And you know, we can just, what is that in his jaw? Just chillin'. Safety first. And see you later.